report on rural wages in Asia has three main findings. The first and the most obvious one is that rural wages across Asia are on the way up. That applies in almost all countries of Asia throughout the 2000s and for several decades before that in many cases. Our second finding is that those rural wages in many of the countries, and particularly in three giant countries, China, India and Bangladesh, have been accelerating since the mid-2000s. And our third finding, where we're trying to explain that acceleration, is that the key drivers are the demography in which past falls in fertility and migration out of rural areas means the number of people entering the rural workforce is slowing quite dramatically and in the case of China is virtually zero by now. And our other finding that goes with that, the other driver, is the, the growth of manufacturing and we think the growth of manufacturing is taking people out of rural areas and the effect of that is that because there are fewer people in the rural areas and you've got an expanding agriculture, upward pressure is there on wages. Now there are three key implications of this. The first and most dramatic implication is, is that this is almost certainly the end of mass poverty in rural Asia. This is the end of it. You can't have mass poverty once you get the rural wages up. Yes, you will have some chronically poor people there, those who can't work, disabled, or elderly, etc., for whom we need social protection, but mass rural poverty is over. The second thing is that this is putting upward pressure on the price of food in Asia. So cheap rice is now no longer a possibility in Asia. This creates opportunities for other parts of the world to export food to Asia. And our third and most dramatic implication is it's driving up the costs of manufacturing in Asia. Manufacturers can't get dirt cheap labour off the land anymore and they have to start putting up their, their salaries in the manufacturing plants. And that's going to see several possible consequences. One is potential automation of some of those plants, but that's probably not the main way it'll go. It's probably going to be relocation of those plants to inland China, to the low-income economies of Asia, that's Cambodia, it's uh, Bangladesh, it's Burma, and most intriguingly, very probably, to Africa. And the impacts, hence, of rural wages rising in, in Asia is this is good news for most of Asia. It's almost certainly extremely good news for Africa because we can expect to see hundreds of thousands, if not millions of jobs, moving across the Indian Ocean in pursuit of lower wages in Africa. And Africa desperately needs manufacturing investment.